Hey, what's up everybody? It's Jam34 back with some more TFGO content. We are just past the trade deadline now and before we get into the games in this video, I'm gonna just go over some trades that have happened this season. Uh, we're just gonna go right down the list and uh, if you want to know more about any of these trades, um, I don't think every trade is on this list, but we tried to keep track as best we could. Um, some of the smaller trades might not be on it, but... Starting from the top, uh, we have Paxton Lynch, quarterback, traded to the Cowboys for a sixth round pick. Uh, edge defender Dante Fowler went from the Jaguars to the Jets for Teddy Bridgewater. Also in exchange in that, in that trade was a fifth round from the Jags going to the Jets and a third rounder going from the Jets to the Jags. So Jags quarterback, Teddy Bridgewater. Emmanuel Sanders was traded from the Broncos to the Seahawks for a fourth rounder. Uh, the Texans gave up a fifth round pick for quarterback Davis Webb from the Giants. So Davis Webb taking over as backup for Houston. The Miami Dolphins traded a fifth round pick for guard Evan Bohm from the Cardinals. And the Broncos traded away edge defender Shaq Barrett to the Rams for a fourth round pick and a sixth round pick. The Jaguars traded a sixth round pick to the Redskins for Samaj P. Ryan, running back. And then the Eagles traded a sixth round pick to the Ravens for strong safety Anthony Levine. The 49ers traded away linebacker Elijah Lee to the Saints for interior defensive lineman David Anyameta. And then, of course, we know about this one, the Patriots. We traded away Eric Rowe and a 2020 seventh round pick for the Colts 2019 fourth round pick. And then the Colts traded safety TJ Green to the Steelers for a sixth round pick. The Eagles traded away running back Coral Corey Clement to the Bucks for a fourth round pick. And the Colts traded away a sixth round pick to the Bucks for running back Jaquiz Rogers. The Packers traded away backup quarterback Brett Hundley to the Panthers for a fifth round pick. I believe Hundley started right away because their quarterback was injured. And then, of course, the Patriots, we traded Jonathan Jones, another cornerback, to the Cowboys for a fifth round pick. So we're loading up on picks. And then, of course, in the last video, I told you about our trade with the Seahawks. We traded offensive tackle Trent Brown to the Seahawks for wide receiver Tyler Lockett. And that's the trade history of the league for this season. Um, I might have missed some again. Um, if you know of any that happened in the league, go ahead and comment or let me know and we can address those in the next video. But anyways, uh, that's the trade history, so now moving on. So in week 8, we have the Buffalo Bills as our opponent. Um, unfortunately, something happened with the video, so it was only coming out with audio, so I can't bring you a play-by-play uh, -play recap. Um, but you're not going to miss much. Uh, the ending score was 42-15 to 15 in the Bills' favor. Tom Brady threw a couple interceptions. We couldn't get much offense going or run game going. Um, Josh Allen had a huge day. 400 yards passing, three touchdowns, no interceptions. They ran the ball pretty well. Uh, Shaq Lawson had three sacks on Tom Brady. So pretty dominant performance by the Bills on us. Uh, nothing to write home about. Uh, and really didn't miss much, so... Looking ahead to next week, we have the Green Bay Packers in a GOAT battle. So we look forward to that next. In a Week 11 matchup, this may be the last time you ever see this matchup. So we will see how it turns out. Will it live up to the hype? We are 4-4 four four coming into this game, having just come off a loss against the Buffalo Bills. And the Packers are 5-2 coming into this game. They just lost against the Los Angeles Rams. But the Packers are leading their division still, so there's not quite as much on the line. They have a good hold on that division. We need desperately to get a win here to get back in position to compete for a playoff spot. So a big game for us and a very tough opponent. We are home. They are visiting us, so hopefully that plays to our advantage. First play of the game, Rodgers going to do a play action pass, but Trey Flowers is not fooled and he's going to tackle him for the sack. The Patriots would get a field goal on their next drive, so back to Rodgers. 
facing a third and eight. He's going to find old trusty Randall Cobb for the first down. Packers are going to enter into hurry up mode to try to get something going. Ty Montgomery gets the handoff, very small gain. Same drive. Rodgers can't find anyone open, and he's getting chased out of bounds by Derek Rivers, but looks like there was a holding penalty, so that's going to back them up and slow down their momentum. Now facing a third and 17. And that's Derek Rivers again coming off the edge, beating the block eventually, because Rodgers just had a ton of time there, but he ends up with the sack. Patriots get the ball back. Now Tom Brady with great protection. He eventually slides to the right, drifting out of the pocket. Jair Alexander, who was with Chris Hogan, left him to tackle Brady, left Chris Hogan all alone, and he's got a ton of space up the sideline, takes it into the Packers territory, up near the 30-yard line. Very next play, Packers in man coverage, they leave Oren Burks on James White on the wheel route, and he gets burned. Touchdown, James White, Brady finds him. Patriots take a 10-0 lead into the second quarter. Rodgers looking to respond, facing a third and six. And he finds a wide open, equanimous St. Brown. Jason McCourty just let him run right by. Now into the red zone. And Rodgers finds Devontae Adams on the comeback to take it up to the three yard line. And they will pass again. Rodgers can't find anyone open. He scrambles around. And he is chased down by Trey Flowers. That's his second sack of the game. Now facing a third and goal. What? What? Okay, double what? And that was Cam Carrillo with an interception. And Marcus, that franchise guy with the commentary. Great play by Cam. Patriots take over. Later on in the second quarter, Patriots try the stretch play, but Muhammad Wilkerson is all over it. And that is stuff for a big loss. Packers get the ball back with about three minutes left in the second quarter. And again, Jason McCourty lets his man run right by. And this time it's Marquez Valdez Scantling with the reception. Rodgers again. This time it's a screen play called. Cam is in coverage. The linebacker, he reads it and he leaves his man wide open in the middle of the field. And Rodgers will finish this off himself with a QB sneak for the touchdown. Brady looking to respond. He's got Tyler Lockett matched up in the slot against the safety Tremont Williams. But Tremont Williams does a great job of staying with him and he picks off that ball. Wow. They thought they had a mismatch, but he made them pay. So Rodgers taking over. He's got a ton of time again. Scrambling to his right. Finds his wide open receiver. 30 seconds left in the half now. Rodgers takes it into his own hands for the first down up to the 20 yard line. Trying to get a touchdown before the half, Rodgers and Derek Rivers will take him down, so they will settle for a field goal. It's 10 to 10 at halftime. First play of the second half, Brady with a play action. Packers bring the blitz. It's the rookie Josh Jackson, and he takes Brady down hard and lands on him. Brady's gonna miss the rest of the game with a sore lower back. That looked like a driving to the ground penalty if you ask me, but they have been off with calling that penalty all year, so. I'm not surprised they missed it this time. First play of the next drive. There is a bust in the coverage. Devontae Adams comes free. No one is within 30 yards of him. He's going to have this touchdown easily. Just like that, the Packers are up 17-10. Hoyer taking over, facing a third and 10. And he will find Braxton Berrios, who makes a man miss, has some room, and he's going to take it up into Packers territory. Jai Alexander is going to chase him down. Now Hoyer... Facing another third down. This time he finds Tyler Lockett who makes a few men miss and he's going to take it into the end zone. This game's not over. It's 17 to 17. Not to be outdone. Rodgers again a player wide open that Jason McCourty lets run right by him down the sideline. That's Valdez Scantling and Aaron Jones gets the handoff and he will finish off that drive with a touchdown. He has the huge hole. Hoyer takes over. With the play action the defenders got sucked in. Tyler Lockett's wide open down the middle of the field. Takes it all the way up inside the 30 yard line. Very next play, Hoyer has Sony Michelle in man coverage on the wheel route and he launches it up, but Josh Jones with the terrific coverage on Michelle and he picks that off to end that drive. Rodgers taking over. He's going to come back looking for the big play. He's eyeing that seam route, but Dante Hightower with great coverage sees it come the whole way, tips it, and Devin McCourty dives and picks off the interception. Hoyer taking over again. Finds Tyler Lockett on the slant route for the first down. Now into Packers territory facing a second and one. 
First play of the fourth quarter, and that's Malcolm Mitchell with the first down. Now second and goal, Hoyer finds Malcolm Mitchell again for the touchdown. Nice homecoming for him. Now Aaron Rodgers taking over with seven minutes in the fourth quarter, tie game. He's going to scramble to his left and get chased down by Shalik Calhoun. God damn. Who the hell is that? <laughs> so facing a third and 11, Rodgers has Devontae Adams on the out route right in front of Stefan Gilmore. That was great coverage, but he just missed the ball. Rodgers a ton of time again, and he's going to eventually find Mercedes Lewis for the first down. Now Rodgers gets another first down into the middle of the field. Just under three minutes left now, they're up to the two yard line facing a third and goal. Rodgers hands off to Aaron Jones who makes a nice cut and gets the touchdown. There's two minutes left, Brian Hoyer needs a touchdown. He pump fakes and he's looking deep for Philip Dorsett, but it's a terrible throw. Great play by Kevin King. That's gonna end the game. It was a nice attempt at a comeback by Brian Hoyer to keep the team in it, but... Rodgers was just a little bit too much, and the Patriots just couldn't put enough offense. It was a little bit anticlimactic for the Battle of the Goats. Hopefully Brady doesn't retire and we get to see this one more time next year, or maybe we can even make the Super Bowl and meet them there, but there is a low percentage chance of that happening. We move to 4-5, and five, and our playoff hopes are looking slimmer and slimmer, so we need to start getting on a win streak. Next week we have the Tennessee Titans. They are 2-7, and seven, so hopefully we can pick up a win there, and then we have the bye week. I hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you later.